Alright guys, what's the crack? And in today's emblem we have got an absolute doozy to celebrate the man's debut finally in WWE. We are going to do the phenomenal one, the P1 emblem. And we're going to get into it right now. First and foremost, all we're going to do is going to get white and black circles. So white circles first, copy it, make it nice and big so that it's just touching the top and bottom of the actual emblem itself. That was that rectangle box. May I make it nice and white and then copy paste it, make that black. So we're just looking for a thin black circle. Make that circle white. And then another tick white circle. So we're going to go tick white, tin black, tick white. And then we're going to go tick black. This circle here is going to be a tick black circle. We're going to make copy and paste it, make it smaller. And now you see there's our tick black kind of barrier boundary there. Again, we're going to get a tin white circle and then finally a black circle on top of that. A lot of copying and pasting at the very start of this emblem, but really, really, really easy. Okay, for the first kind of tail at the top of the pink, the twirl, I guess you can call it, we're gonna get this as half called a half mustache. We're gonna flip it, scale it, and turn it black, make it nice and big, and so that it goes over the black circle and into the, the second white circle. Turn that black, and then copy and paste it, turn it white, make it smaller. So that's gonna fit in to that previous uh, black half mustache. So that's gonna give you the, the first little flick on top of the P. Okay, so moving on, you can use a straight line for this, but I'm gonna use a half heart. To make up the line in the P, I'm going to use two of these with the fixed scale, make them nice and long, nice and thin. I'm going to copy and paste them, flip it and turn it around so it fits into it nicely. And as you can see at the top, it gives us it's kind of like an angle uh, into that thin white circle. It's, and you won't get that with the white line, so that's why I use the half a heart. You can use a triangle here, as you can see me doing. I, I actually recommend you uh, use a half a heart for this bit as well, because with a half a heart, you can get it a nicely triangular shape, but you also get a different angle. Which is handier? You'll see me change mine to a half a heart later on. Then a trial an hour, and um, so that's what I was working with here. The next thing you go, you can use the pie or the rock slice uh, object to make the actual kind of main body of the pea itself. Of course, use that fixed scale to get it into position. This is the rock, I think, and then I'm gonna eventually end up using using it's called the pie slice. I, I recommend using that as well. So you want to make this nice and long, nice and thin. It makes make sure it takes up a good portion of the pea, bring it down close enough to the bottom, but not not too close to the bottom. As you can see there, and then just to make the inside the kind of hollow part for the pea, just get, 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 get yourself a rounded square, make it nice and thin, nice and long, and then just on top of that, we're going to grab ourselves what's called a, fl a flag no wind. It's a bit of a weird name, but that's what it's called, flag no wind, and then um, we're going to make this smaller, as you can see, banging into position. Just make sure that it fits the uh, around the square, and then you can move everything across. Don't forget if 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 it's kind of off balance, off center. Don't worry about that shit. Just move it off to the left, to the right, whatever way you need to do it. Make it smaller, make it bigger, make it thinner. Whatever you need to do, edit this stuff as you go. There's no problem doing that, as you can see. I'm gonna do that there now. I thought it would be just as simple as copying and pasting and flipping it for the bottom kind of tail uh, uh, to the bottom left of the P, but I found it was a bit tricky, so I kind of made it myself, and this is really kind of easy and makes looks better. So we're going to use ovals to make the bottom flip on the on the, uh, the twirl on the bottom of the, of the P. So we're going to get a, a circle, use the fixed scale to make that an oval, turn that oval black, again copy and paste it, turn it smaller and make that oval as you just copy and paste it, make it white and make sure you fit it in to the P itself, to the bottom left hand corner of that P. Again, and copy and paste it, turn that oval black, make it smaller and you can kind of give that an angle. Stick it into the white, the white oval from, that you had before, and bam, you have got yourself the bottom of the P, the twirl, homemade twirl. I'm going to finish that off with a small half a heart that just connects the P and the actual twirl itself. Okay, so the top of the one, which again is going to give us a half mustache, we're going to use the uh, fixed scale to make this nice and small, a lot smaller than the other one for the P. Make it kind of long and thin. And then just for the one itself, we can use one or two straight lines. We won't, we won't use a half a heart this time. We can get away with a straight line, one or two of them. Just copy and paste it just to fill it out. We can work with the one as we go. Don't worry if it looks a bit off as you're doing this. We can always work with this as we go along. Grab yourself the main object. It's called the main, like a horse's mane. Grab that and make it nice and big and put that to the bottom of the one. We're going to use the same process here as the top of the P. We're going to turn that black. Make it nice and big. Copy and paste it. Make it smaller and turn it white. And that's just going to sit in. To that black background that you had before these kind of things really make the emblem stand out because otherwise you got a lot of white on top of a lot of white and that's just, just it all blends in and it doesn't look nice it doesn't look neat so now you can just go ahead get yourself a load of stars it's just literally 20 plus stars in this copy and paste them just make sure that they're all kind of evenly spaced all point in the same way because that can really throw it off big time if you want to add in some more effects you can throw in these splats because the emblem itself isn't actually 
a perfect a circle all the way around so we're going to throw in these splats kind of at the end of blue out just to kind of throw in these effects and make it kind of rough looking for these you don't you, you don't want to throw in too many because if you throw in too many you'll make it kind of like a a, a, pier, a, a diamond or a hexagon or something like that and you really want to keep that circular shape intact the whole way through so just a few just skimming the edges not taking too much off the circle itself and that adds a really a really good effect to it if you want you can add in these paintballs as well just a few of them copy and paste them around the emblem but they are actually there so we're going to throw them in if you really want you can make the, the white the big white circle at the very back blue if you want to make that blue at, to match his original tna logo go ahead do all that nothing stopping you mess around with the gradients and the black background you can get some cool effects but that's essentially it and um it's kind of tricky but it looks beautiful it's in the winner circle and all that kind of stuff for this emblem really pays off and you're better off you're better off making it because look at this if you don't make an emblem this is what you're left with <laughs> the fuck is this shit all right guys there you go aj styles emblem in the bag I hope you enjoyed. See you later.